हेलो गाइस ये वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फ्रॉम बिल्डअप एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग की एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द चैप्टर रोटेशन फ्रॉम पाथ फाइंडर सो लेट्स फर्स्ट लुक एट द क्वेश्चन अ स्ट्रक्चर कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू आइडेंटिकल स्क्वायर प्लेट्स ऑफ एल इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर हिंस टू अ कॉमन एक्सल एट वन ऑफ द एजेस इज प्लेस्ड ऑन अ फिक्स ऑरिजेंटल सिलेंडर ऑफ रेडियस आर इक्वल्स टू टेन सेंटीमीटर एज शोन इन द फिगर देर इज नो फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द सिलेंडर्स एंड द प्लेट एट वॉट एंगल विद द वर्टिकल विद द प्लेट्स लीन इन इक्वली प्रियम सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव इट अ ट्राई विदाउट द हिंट यू कैन डू इट नाउ So, yeah, if you want the hint, here it is. Try finding the direction of force at the hinge. So, again, if you want to try it with this hint, uh, you can do it now. So, yeah, now let's look at the solution. So, first of all, we are certainly clear of the direction of the forces marked above, like mg in the downward direction, and uh, normal force perpendicular to the surface of axis. Uh, but the main part here is to to decide the direction of the force on the rods at the hinge. This is the hinge here, and we can also observe that uh, th uh, we'll all uh, we have an axis of symmetry which has been marked in the figure, this uh, this axis, and uh, which implies that the two rods should have symmetric forces. So this is an axis of symmetry. So both the rods are similar equivalent. So their con uh, forces on them should be uh, symmetric in nature. So let's try to find the force at the hinge. So let's consider the two rods sep separately. So let's say there's a force R acting on one of the rods at an angle theta above the horizontal. Then, by symmetry, its counterpart, this rod, should also have the same force as shown in the diagram. Like it will also be uh, due to symmetry, it will also be at an angle theta above the horizontal. And uh, the other thing, what we can say is that. now when newton's third law there is also uh, there is a force of r on if there is a force of r on the first rod at an angle theta above the horizontal its counterpart should experience an equal force but in the opposite direction as shown on the figure so if there is a force of r on this rod in at an angle theta above the horizontal so the other rod should have an of same force r at an angle theta below the horizontal so now uh, these two conditions are uh, need to be satisfied at the same time which is only possible in the case when theta equals to 0 or the force r is acting horizontally on each rod so now coming back to the original question we needed to find theta so let's write the force equations for one of the rods as shown in the figure what we get is so we here we have considered one rod the normal force will be acting in the perpendicular direction to the surface mg force downwards and uh, the reaction force let's say r is uh, acting in the horizontal direction so first of all by force balance balancing force in the y direction what we get is n sin theta equals to mg here the component of the uh, n vertical direction will be n sin theta then uh, by in x direction what we get is n cos theta equals to reaction force r and by torque balance about the hinge what we get uh, about the point at the hinge what we get is mgl by 2 sin theta equals to nr cot theta as uh, this mg force is acting at a distance of l by 2 from the hinge and this uh, normal force is acting at this distance which from this triangle we, we can see that it is r by cot theta uh, sorry r cot theta so solving these finally uh, uh, solving these uh, what we can get is substituting n equals to mg by sin theta in the third equation and uh, simplifying what we get is cos theta equals to cos theta by sin cube theta equals to l over 2r so now solving this more what we get is cot of theta equals to 2 sin square theta and here i have substituted l l equals to 40 cm and r equals to 10 cm so cot theta equals to 2 sin square theta and uh, sin square theta can be written as 1 by cos x square theta and cos x square theta minus cot cot square theta is equals to 1 which is a very common identity so from here what we get is cos x square theta equal to 1 plus cot square theta and forming the cubic in cot cube cot theta we get is cot cube theta plus cot theta equals to 2 and uh, if we factor factor get get its factors what we get is cot theta minus 1 into cot square theta plus cot theta plus 2 equals to 0 and we can observe that the discriminant of this quadratic is less than 0 so from here what you get is the only root is cot theta equals to 1 so from here what we get is theta equals to 45 degree so the rod should settle at an angle theta equals to 45 degree with the verticals so yeah that's the final answer thank you